When Bruce McDonald takes his bike out for a spin, he's not far from the famed Heartbreak Hill on the Boston Marathon course. But a hill like that is far from Bruce's biggest biking challenge. In 95, I, I'd ridden my bike about 5,800 miles, including Paris Brest Paris uh, race, which is an epic bike, bike race in France from Paris to Brest back to Paris, 755 miles. It was just a few months later that his health began to go downhill. And then at the gym uh, one day I was riding the life cycle and uh, felt lightheaded and dizzy and my heart felt like it was just not beating properly. Like 2.2 million Americans, Bruce had atrial fibrillation, or AF, an abnormal heart rhythm that can strike at any time. For some, symptoms include shortness of breath, fatigue, and the inability to live life to the fullest. Even going for a ride with the kids, I'd worry that I'd go out of rhythm when we'd be out there and have trouble getting back. The other problem was I was tired constantly. A game of catch would be too strenuous. Like a 90, I was a 90-year-old man, you know, living in a body that was in good shape. Very frustrating. Even more frustrating to Bruce was the fact that he required higher and higher doses of the medications he took to control his heartbeat, eventually reaching the point where they were no longer effective. That put Bruce at even greater risk. The big risk for uh, atrial fibrillation is stroke. You can tell that some people are going to be more prone to having strokes than others, but you can't predict. And that's the danger of atrial fibrillation. I had a stroke. Drove off Route 495 into the woods. My car was smashed up pretty bad. Fortunately, I wasn't hurt. A highway sign went through my windshield, and if there had anybody been riding with me, they wouldn't have survived. Hoping to put the brakes on another stroke, Bruce was considering open-heart surgery when he learned of another option available at Beth Israel Deaconess Medical Center, the minimally invasive maze procedure. And that involves um, making small incisions between the ribs on both sides, exposing the heart, and putting a clamp around the part of the heart where the veins come in from the lung and then applying that clamp and using radio frequency energy to create the lesions that isolate the pulmonary veins. By isolating the veins in the lungs where the AF begins, surgeons hope to keep the AF away from the heart. They also remove the left atrial appendage where AF strokes are born to further reduce the risk of stroke. Usually the patients are in the hospital two to three days. When they go home, they are there are no real limitations on them. They can do pretty much whatever they want. Top-notch staff and the doctors, no BS, leveled with me, didn't make promises that they thought may or may not be able to be kept, just explained exactly what they'd be doing and let me make the decisions, and they were right. Within months, Bruce was off his medication and back on his bike. A year and a half ago, I didn't think in a million years I'd ever be able to do it. It was just a part of my life that was gone. But I'm, I just finished Paris, Press Paris. That's right. The guy who thought he'd never ride again just rode 755 miles, virtually nonstop. I think it worked. Forever? What's forever? But I'm 58 years old, and I just did PBP. I'm pretty happy with that.